our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. I can't believe it. What's wrong? That was a great goal. Yes, but I bet $200 on the Cougars. Looks like you're going to lose out on this game then. I can't believe it. I thought the Cougars were going to win for sure. What were the odds? 20 to 1, in favor of the Cougars. Too bad. Watch out. You'll hit that car if you're not careful. Oh no, I won't. But we will have an accident if you don't stop shouting. You see, I told you you'd hit him if you weren't careful. Oh, shut up, will you? It was all your fault. If you'd kept quiet this would never have happened. Oh, so it was my fault, was it? If I hadn't warned you in time, it would have been much worse. Hey, Cindy, I'm so sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have yelled at you in front of everyone. Don't worry about it. I don't know what happened to me. I just lost it. I think you just need to get more sleep. Yeah, you're right. Good night. So, you're applying for a B2 visa. Where is your final destination and what's the purpose of your trip to the United States? I'm going to visit my brother. He's just had a baby. He lives in Minneapolis. And how long do you, you plan to remain in the United States? I'll be here for approximately three weeks. See, here's my return ticket for the 26th of March. And, who is sponsoring your trip? My brother, here, this is an invitation letter from him. I will stay with him and his family in their home. All right, tell me about the ties you have to your home country. Well, I own a house. Actually, I'm leaving my dog there with my neighbors. I have a car at home, and oh, my job. I'm employed by Tornal as an engineer. Actually, I only have three weeks vacation, so I have to go back to work at the end of March. And what evidence do you have that you are financially independent? Well, I do have assets in my country. Like I said, I own a house, and see. Here's a bank statement showing my investments and my bank balance. I'm sorry, sir. We cannot grant you a B-2 visa at this time. Instead, you are granted a resident visa. Congratulations. You are the millionth person to apply for a visa. You win. Congratulations. The concert was really great. I agree. The singing group used to be very popular. I can't believe they would play so good. Hey Sarah, are you alright? You look upset. As a matter of fact, I am a bit upset. I just came out of a meeting and it didn't go very well. What happened? No one would listen to any of my suggestions. Instead, they just kept arguing with each other. Who was chairing the meeting? Bob. Well, I can tell you from experience that Bob might come off a little strong sometimes. That's exactly what happened. He kept interrupting everyone with his own suggestions and did not want to hear what others had to say. Then he expected everyone to agree with him. What was the meeting about? We were trying to come up with ideas to streamline the office's workflow to make it more efficient. It's ironic that the meeting was anything but efficient. Exactly. 
I had tons of ideas that I wanted to share, but they just wouldn't let me finish. What should I have done to get my point across? You have to keep things short and sweet. When you get a chance to speak, try not to get into too many unnecessary details. Short and sweet? But what if I have to explain something complicated? You can always bring up the main points during the meeting and speak to those who are directly involved after the meeting. Not everyone needs to know all that information. That's a good idea. I think I will try that at the next meeting. I was just about to go to bed when the telephone rang last night. Who was it? Kate. She said she was too excited to go to sleep. She never cares about others. It's true. Guess what we were talking about last night. Her new boyfriend, right? Yeah. How do you know about that? I was also interrupted by her last week because of such a thing. My goodness. You're kidding. No. I'm serious. I'm going to quit my job. That's amazing. You got a good pay here, didn't you? It's true. But I can't show my abilities. Come on. Don't be silly. Your present job is something better. Why do you change? Well, how do you know? What's up? You look low. It's my girlfriend. I guess she's playing the army game. How come? I saw her dating with her ex-boyfriend again. I understand that. But I think maybe it's not a date. You are taking the matter too much to heart. Maybe. But it still gets on my nerves. Cindy, I heard you got into that university. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm so happy. It's like a dream come true. I'm tired of dancing. But to me it's really enjoyable. Maybe it's because you always have pretty girls as your partners. Maybe so. You're spending a very long time on my hair. I'm almost done. I needed you to be done and finished an hour ago. I'm all done now. Are you sure you're finished? I don't understand. You did a horrible job on my hair. What's wrong with it? I don't like anything about it. I apologize. That's fine, but I'm not paying for it. Excuse me? Let's try to work this out, okay? What are you thinking about? About my boyfriend. Again. You are really a wet blanket. Wow. What happened to you? You look sad. I just lost my job. My boss just told me. That's unbelievable. Why did this happen? I don't understand of myself. It seems they have to save money. I can't it believe it. You've worked here for years. You seem to have all the jitters about Jane. Yeah, I am on edge since she was out to the match. Keep your fingers crossed. She'll bring home the bacon. I do have the confidence, but I still worry about her. Your ring is very beautiful. Thank you. 
It has been handed down in my family for three generations. Oh, it is precious. It surely is. I'm so glad I bought this watch. Cool, flashy red lines. I think this is the coolest watch I've ever owned. Is it waterproof? Isn't that a silly question? You know how much of an athlete I am. Uh, huh, so what kind of sports do you need a waterproof watch for? Well, surfing, scuba diving. Sam, we are hard up for the everyday expenses. When can you find a job? I'm looking for it, but you see, the market is hard up for jobs, too. You liar, I saw you again in the inn. I bet you don't want to work at all. Let's skip the X-Files tonight, Fran. Okay, just this once? Let me guess. You want to watch the History Channel again. How did you know? There's a program on Ancient Egypt tonight. Well, I guess I could tape the X-Files and watch it later. Look, it's starting. Mysteries of the Pyramids. Didn't we watch this program last week? Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy-to-follow, free, educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.